Hi, my name is David Gupser. I'm racing K1 for Switzerland and the distance that I prefer at 1000 meter as well as the 500 meter and sometimes I do also 200 meter. Uh, hello, my name is Rock Cook. I come from Slovenia. Usually I compete in K2, 1000 meter and 500, uh, but now I'm competing K1, 1000 and 500 meters. My name is Katrin Bachmeier and I compete in K2, 200 and 500 meters. My name is Sabine Bachmeier, I'm her sister. I compete in K2, 200 and 500 meters and in K4, 500 meters. Uh, my name is Carrie Johnson, I'm from the US team and I'm competing in the K1, 200 and K4 and K2, 500. It has been an okay regatta for me so far. I didn't do too well in the 1000 meter yesterday. I had a bad semi-final and didn't make it into the B final what was the goal for this competition. Now I just had a very good semi-final and I think I made it into the C final and get another chance to race there. Uh, I'm quite satisfied with my results here. Uh, I came to collect some K1 experiences as my K2 partner is at the World Championships in Downriver. I made the B final on 1000 meter and I'm quite satisfied with that. It's okay, we have now we are in K2 in 500 meter semi-final. We have it in 20 minutes like this, so we hope it's gonna be good. I am, I wasn't competing last year and so I'm getting back into the sport and each race is getting better. <laughs> Well, I like the longer distances better because it suits my body better. That's what I think. I'm not so good on the short stuff because I'm not the most explosive athlete, but I'm pretty good on long stuff. 200 meters is definitely the uh, sprinter's race. You have to be born for that, I think. You cannot train so much as the others. But 1000 meters is a, a test of endurance and, and uh, speed. Also the 500, so I think it's quite a big difference but we don't train 200 as much as other distances. We are better in 500 meters because it's a little bit longer and it's not so hectic and yeah. My favorite event is the 200 meters. I like sprinting better than distance, so I think the 200 is a lot of fun. The 500 is a little bit more strategy than the 200, but 200 is my favorite. Uh, well, for the 1000 meter you need to have a little bit of a race plan, I think, but for the short distance I think you just have to blast out and go as hard as you can all the way. The race tactic in K2 for 1000 meter is that we uh, try to start as hard as we can and then after 200 meters we uh, go into the more long and hard strokes and at 500 we really start pushing and we made a finish at the end. Yes, but we don't say it here. Just full. <laughs> For the 200, um, you have to have a strong start and just go with a lot of power. <laughs> you have to, a little bit of the same, you have to hit a high speed in the middle and hold on. <laughs> No, I try not to be affected by anyone else around. I just try to do my thing and race as fast as I can. If we are doing well, usually not. But if the our race is not going going so well as it should go, then maybe we adapt a bit to to other how the others are racing. Not really. We just try to um, go with the others and do the best. To that do thing. the best. Yeah. Each of us has our race plan and you have to follow what you know you can do and not be affected by what other people are doing during the race. Yes, of course, I do some uh, technique training every once in a while. I think it's very important to keep working on your technique because you start doing mistakes every once in a while and if you don't take care of that, your technique will get bad within a couple of weeks. Uh, we do a lot on our technique, usually when we do some longer uh, pedalings, we watch on our technique and we, our coach uh, films us a lot of times and then we discuss the stroke. Yes, we have it yeah. like one time a week, we go technique. Yeah. Uh, we do, our coach works with us on technique a lot. Um, working, for me, I'm working on keeping my <laughs> bottom arm straight as I pull and not pulling with my arm. Yeah, I think when it comes to technique, it's just like a slow progress, like you're trying to get better and while you like eliminate one mistake, you may start another one on another end and it's just like you're working from one side to the other side and it's like 
improvement here a little bit and then you have to improve somewhere else and it's just I think it's an endless an endless way that you have to go yeah usually when like now when we are competing a lot and there's not so much time for training the, the technique goes a bit down but we take care of that yeah yes yeah evidently yes <laughs> I don't think it changes I think it it does change as you improve but I don't think it changes <laughs> <laughs>